Hi everybody, it's Lisa from Sutton's Days, and today is the final check-in for the January 2018 Pantry Challenge. Um, sorry, I still have this cold. This doesn't seem to be going away. Um, but um, I wanted to do my, my week in review and share that with you and tell you what we're doing for the month of February. Even though it is only the 28th of January, um, technically it's kind of like the last week. It's the fourth week. Okay. So um, this week we ended up, it ended up we did spend some money. Uh, we ran out of coffee creamer. Um, we have a friend who's stopping over for coffee often, which is very, very good, but then I didn't tally that into the equation. So we ran out of coffee creamer earlier uh, than anticipated, so Phil ran and got some of that. And then um, I picked up yesterday, I ran into town when I got my hair done. Um, I ran into town and picked up some chicken legs. Now, the chicken legs are for a canning project, so those are not going to be consumed in the month of January because, well, the month of January is almost over. But um, when I was there, I saw a, a very inexpensive bottom round roast. I mean, it really looked like a big, thick cut steak, you know? And I tell you what, I, I maybe it's the cold, I don't know, but I'm really, really craving red meat. So I decided to spend the money and pick that up. Uh, we also picked up um, a couple things of cheddar cheese um, because, well, it's good to have cheddar cheese in the house, right? So that was the extent, for the most part, I think, for our grocery shopping. Um, it was just those, those odds and ends. And again, because we haven't been feeling good, we haven't been cooking a lot. Um, I made some soup. Oh, see, I knew I forgot something. I did pick up three cans of white chili beans, uh, which are now inspiring me for a canning project later this week. But um, I made some white chicken chili um, at work one day, and my crock pot was there, so I just grabbed up my jars from here, and I picked up three cans from the grocery store of the beans, threw it all in a crock pot, and the whole crew had white chicken chili for lunch, and it turned out really good. So I will be sharing that with you in the very near future. It's good stuff. Um, so I did pick up three cans of white, chi white, yeah, white chili beans also. So that, let's see, a total we're looking at, um, four times six, that's 24 for the creamer and round up to eight, <coughs> pardon me, eight for the cheese. So that is 32 and then 450 for the beans, which were seriously overpriced. Um, and there you go. What did I come up to? <laughs> Head cold. Okay. So that's what we spent this past week on food. Um, and some of it was, you know, then that didn't include the chicken. That did not include the chicken. So the, the beans were overpriced. They were a last minute purchase. Um, and now I'm going to make sure that I've got those in our pantry for the future. And the rest of it was stocking up to get us through the next few weeks, you know, um, we don't go to Walmart on purpose, you know, unless we're buying more than one thing. So um, Phil made a special trip to go out there and get six pint or six quarts, whatever it was, of, of heavy whipping cream. Okay, so now we're moving into the month of February. And um, there is no, there's no break in this. We're just going to keep moving right along, okay? Um, so it's not a free-for-all for the next three or four days to go out and buy everything you can to get through the month of February. Um, if you need to, then just increase your weekly um, allowance for food, you know, but still try to work predominantly out of your pantry, out of your stored food, and that's what we're going to do here. Um, I had roasts in the freezer, um, but I knew that there wasn't enough time for me to defrost it so that I could actually consume it as soon as I wanted to, so that's why I picked up that little roast, but um, so that was... That was an impulse purchase, you know, and, and that's what I'm trying to avoid. Um, but we have saved a phenomenal amount of money. We normally will spend anywhere between four and six hundred dollars a month um, on food. Now, I haven't even really purchased a lot for the pantry, you know, for any kind of long term storage um, other than my Thrive Life, which I just don't really count. Um, but, you know, as far as other foods, I really haven't. Um, purchased anything to can or to, to put up. Um, when we go, though, we do purchase multiple of the, the creamer just to see us through, you know, extra weeks. You know, that kind of thing. Creamers, cheese, cream cheese. But, um, 
that's it. I mean, I haven't really done any canning. And so we are down to probably really close. I wish I'd have saved the receipts. I, this was a crazy month. Um, I definitely less than $120 for the entire month is what we spent on groceries. Okay. That's a significant savings right there. And we've still got a lot of food in the house. The only thing that we will be replenishing is the, the dairy. I'm sorry, the dairy. Um, and that's the creamer and the cheese because we use those frequently. Um, so I think that's a really great start. And I'm looking forward to continuing this challenge into February for anybody who wants to work it with us. There's quite a few on um, Sun's Day's Friends on Facebook who have said that they want to continue. So we're going to do it one more month and see what we can do. People are starting to hit the bottom or the sides of their freezers. They're starting to see what's there. They're being more creative. And that just makes me so happy, <laughs> okay, because that is what it's all about. It's learning to use what we have that we really have more than we thought that we did, um, being creative and thinking up new ways to use what we have. Somebody posted today, they did, um, instead of like a corned beef hash, they used uh, canned pork and they made a pork hash. Oh, it looked phenomenal. So it's just being inventive and seeing what you can do and that is always a lot of fun. So I hope that you will join us uh, moving into February for the February 2000 Pantry Challenge, 2018 Pantry Challenge. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun, and we're not going to shoot for March. We are going to end this in February, um, just because this is how I'm going to start, you know, refilling my pantry again. But it gave me a chance to get through mine and see where we're at and what we need and what we still uh, have, and we still have plenty. We hope that this Pantry Challenge has shown you... Um, how far you can go and how much you can do and any holes or things that you could fill in with regards to your pantry and any kind of long-term, short-term storage. That's always the goal. Being prepared to take care of you and yours. That's, that's it. We need to be able to take care of ours and get us through any kind of unknown emergencies. So, um, that's it for the January Pantry Challenge. The next update will be next weekend. I'm just going to say Sunday, <laughs> okay? I never seem to get it on a Saturday. Um, so next Sunday, we will do the update update on the first week of February and uh, let you know where we're at with that. And then this, as the week progresses, um, either tonight or tomorrow, there will be a video about... Um, the canning the chicken legs that we picked up very excited about that and then remember tomorrow is monday night live that's 7 30 eastern standard time i hope you can join us for that and the whole week has a whole bunch of really great videos planned out remember if you like what we do here please hit that like subscribe and share check us out on instagram and facebook and of course until next time be safe